What is up guys, McDoubles back again with a brand new video. Today we're gonna go for a pretty coveted build. A build that requires very specific farming in a very specific place under very highly specific parameters. And we're gonna be doing it on a brand new intellect caster character so that I can try all the new caster world forge enchants and builds that have come out and make my own obviously all along the way on this very specific guy. So Keck Master, that's gonna be our dude. He's already in the guild as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it happen. I'll show you guys everything as we get into the game. But without further ado, Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so I'm on this brand new guy and I'm gonna go with a Frostbolt, Fireball, Fire Blast, and Arcane Intellect start, just a standard mage start. And the reason I'm gonna go with this is because we're gonna go for the following new legendary enchant. Now, I will get into the specifics of this once we get to the level where it becomes applicable. For now, we're just gonna start leveling and seeing what we can do all along the way. But this is actually one of the enchants I went over in my teaser video where I got to pick out some of the enchants and tell them to you guys early. And this could be a little outdated, but it's all I have really access to right now. So it's the Fuego Arctis enchant. Uh, basically, this transforms Pyroblast into two brand new abilities, one fire, one ice, and there's going to be some kind of synergy between utilizing fire and ice magic in tandem with each other. Now, I will go into more specifics once we actually pick up the enchant and can use it, but I did just want to put that out there that that's what we're going for. Here's the thing though, guys, we're going to start leveling, and the thing with this enchant that we're going for is that it requires very highly specific, well, stipulations or specifications for its acquisition. First of all, I've got to go, and I've alluded to this before, to to uh, the Hillsbrad Foothills, to Purgation Isle, and I have to kill level 50 to 56-ish elites, something like that. The elites will drop an item, I have to collect 50 of those items, use them, and then I get the enchant. So it's actually a lot. Here's the actual caveat though, you can't be level 60. Yeah. I don't know why, but I guess it'd be too easy. I don't know. So there's a bunch of like sub 60s over there right now farming it, and we're going to have to join the party and see what we can do. This means I'm a little scared to use an aura because I keep thinking to myself, if I have an XP aura and an XP pot, won't I just, you know, get to 60 while I'm farming those elites? I don't know. It's a little scary and also weird design if true. So I guess I have to level kind of slow today, which uh, is going to be good for you. All right, guys. So for my skill cards as we level, uh, I'm going Pyroblast Scorch because if I'm going to be using something that transforms Pyroblast. It just makes sense that Scorch is probably going to be in the mix. Uh, I'm going to want fast casting spells. You can see Frostbolt's a 0.9 second cast at rank 1, Fireball 1.3. So in other words, Frostbolt's already pretty fast and it has a lot of supporting talents as well. So I'm looking at something like Scorch with Frostbolt and the Pyroblast Fuego Arctis thing going on. Maybe the Fire Blast as well. I really don't know. We'll see how it works. Alright guys, and then I was off. So the meat of this build is happening once we can actually acquire the enchant and go for the grind. So I wanted to go through 1 to 56-ish quite fast. As a result of that, I immediately queued for a BG at level 10 with my little mage build. I picked up the greater heal at 10, and I ended up having a lot of people from the McDee's Nuts guild already on my team. I invited a couple other hordies that I saw on their fresh characters into the guild, and we charged in there as a guild and tried to see if we could win. Who would have thought that very soon after we five capped them and pushed them all the way back to their graveyard? That's one for McDee's Nuts, zero for the rest of the Ascension community. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun to be honest with you. It's complete domination and I did nothing almost because my build I had no gear and like there's no point to what I'm doing right now I'm just throwing out frost bolts and stuff so that was really really fun queue to the second BG I didn't get so lucky I didn't queue with my uh, guild I just queued solo and most of the people on my team weren't in my guild I'm not saying it would have made a difference but I am also saying it would have made a difference so what ended up happening is I had to resort to dirty tactics in order to try to do well to win let's just say so what did I do well you guys know the drill if you can't win with your build if your character isn't strong enough, you need to do the next best thing, which is to back cap, to cap every single thing on the map that you possibly can, and that's exactly what I did. I ended up capping something like five of these different uh, nodes around the map, and uh, something like I, I recapped like another one or whatever, but the point of the matter is, ultimately, I realized I had one true strength that nobody else has on the entire server, which people know my name, and as a result of that, even though I've changed my name, they've still all added me and they know who I am, I realized I could distract the enemy team, and that's what I did. So I just certain point, I had one person distracted, and then I had like five people distracted, and uh, it, it was great. <laughs> it was great. They're all just sitting there and looking at me, and I'm just pretending like I'm just trying to be cute, but in reality, I know exactly
exactly what's going down and i'm trying to help my team to the best of my ability so boom that's how we got through that i also had a pretty fun fight uh towards the end of this bg as well when i was still actually trying to cap stuff and uh, i just liked this particular fight because i literally had a guy who was trying to be the guy that can run around you and make you miss all of your attacks you know it's it's the worst everyone knows it i use the tactic here's the thing i'm pretty well versed in fighting it because i feel like i pseudo invented it and uh, i literally landed every single attack on this guy despite all of his efforts to just run through me and get behind me and prevent me from actually getting a spell the only time a spell didn't go off was before it started let's just say that but during that cast i missed nothing and uh, i destroyed this guy which is pretty freaking fun now i did some dungeons along the way as well i queued into a toxic group luckily it had nothing to do with me they were just bitching at each other the whole time over stupid stuff i think we had a tank who was new the healer was being a, a you know a backseat gamer let me micromanage people on this 15 year old game type of guy uh then the tank was you know he wasn't taking it so he was fighting right back verbally and then i had, think there was another guy that was like can we all just get along basically um and then i'm just sitting there like uh, i'm just trying to give advice i'm like listen you know we only have to kill the flame keepers now i talked about this in my last video and i was being nice about it but i just thought it'd be interesting because i got the whole array with this playthrough i got pvp i got distracting the enemy i got 1v1s i got toxic team and ultimately we were able to win and that got me all the way to here Guys, I swear, I believe it or not, despite the fact that I try to be derpy sometimes in these videos, I'm actually not an idiot. The amount of freaking PMs I've gotten where people actually think I'm stupid is insane. And they're honest about it. Like, they're not trying to be mean. It's just like, they really think it's like they're patting me on the head. Like, it's okay, buddy, but this is how it is. Like, no, like, I'm not calling you out, buddy, in particular, Booty Lips, because first of all, your name's amazing, but I've gotten at least, I'm not joking, it's literally only been one day's worth of play, not even, obviously. Like, I, I started, like, maybe 11 o'clock in the morning, and now we're at, like, 4 o'clock, right, in the afternoon. And I've gotten maybe two dozen PMs from people who said something similar to what this booty lip guy is talking about. And he said, nice name change, mate. Which, look, like, none of them have thought to themselves that maybe, just maybe, this is a brand new character and I didn't name change anything. No, listen, guys, we're level 53. I'm very, very close to 56-ish, and that's where I'm going to start my grind. Um, it's been pretty uneventful because we're not using anything special during this fight, and I just put out a video where I'm doing, like, BG leveling and all that other stuff, so I don't want to beat a dead horse and, and just put out the same content with, like, a different skin. So we're going to try to get to max on this one and i want to show you guys what i think because some guys have already been pming me about this and luckily i was already going to try this build uh but they've been telling me that uh this build is pumping in a really ridiculous way um way higher than what i've shown you so far which says a lot because i've shown you two builds so far that are definitely more than viable and pretty strong and fun to play um and this is supposed to be something that some people think is inevitably going to get nerfed we're going to put it to the test though and see if that works so i'm in an oldamon right now and i'm quite frankly just trying my best to uh mindlessly dps uh, i think honestly what i'm going to do is get to 56 and then i'm going to take a break and then we're going to come back farm that out because i know it's gonna take a grind man I, I already went over to where this place is to where i'm supposed to be grinding this stuff there are lots of people there all of the mobs are on farm and uh that's pretty intense to think about so it's already gonna be another grind we've already been at it right now for about five hours right so it's reminded me of the serpent form grind but i don't think it'll be just as bad as that i think it's going to be a little bit less bad so like i said i just wanted to give you guys a quick update i'm sure i've already told you guys what's happened up to this point so let me keep leveling get to 56 ish so i can defeat those elites without dying dying and uh yeah we'll see if we can get arctis and fuego sooner than later later that same evening okay guys listen up we are where we're supposed to be which is purgation isle and i've got as you can see 49 ectoplasm and i'm pretty sure i'm dying because i'm talking i'm pretty sure i only need 50 to get this enchant now, i don't even know where to go i'll figure it out in a second uh but we're gonna be able to make this happen dude and uh yes i am level 58 right now started at 56 luckily it did not get to 60 mid farm hopefully i don't right i could get unlucky I will say, this grind, I was shooting the shit with some people here, I was like talking about how bad it was, but it was like a three hour grind, and that was at certain points where there were like five people up here all competing with me. So I would say give yourself three to maybe even if you're super unlucky, six hours, uh, and that's assuming people are here, like I said, and uh, you'll have it. So there you go, uh, one more to go, I'm gonna grab it real quick, I'll show you one more time, it's this aisle right here, so I went to Terran Mill and I ran down here, and uh, we are going to go wherever I need to go, and we're going to get this 
legendary enchant for the first and last time and then we're going to try to get to 60 super quick and make this build work uh once again I'm, i think i'm going to go something like scorch pyro i've talked to some people that's what they're doing and uh, i don't want to look at any talents though i have not looked at anybody's talents for this i'm going to make it myself because based on what i'm hearing it's overpowered enough to where quite honestly i'm probably going to make it work very fast in other words i think it might be hard not to make this work you know what i mean so there we go on okay on cam i'll take it too while talking that's the 50th one one let's do it guys okay guys so honestly i thought i had to go to an altar or something i think i just click it and uh oh okay it says gathering will now hopefully i'm not in a bad spot wait let's uh let's go to a safe spot i was afraid it might use them all i would have literally quit the game if it used all my ectoplasm right there i think it's a five minute cast okay i'm gonna chill uh probably not there because something spawns there i think okay let's try right here on the road and yeah, let's just use it. Five minutes from now, I'll see you guys and we'll see what we get. All right, there we go, guys. We turned it into the Warden of Demon Reach Legendary Enchant. So that's apparently what makes it happen. So now we can finally play the game. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on something I have on. Actually, no, something in my inventory, like these boots. And we're going to go ahead and extract it ASAP. So the goal now is to hit level 60 real quick, guys. Extract Warden of Demon Reach off these boots and build the build. So I will say real quick, uh, there's like the Dresden Files. I think it's a book series, actually. And I've been told by some people that... This is actually inspired by that. So uh, I haven't personally read it or watched it if it's watchable, but so many people have mentioned it that I guess it's actually a pretty big thing for a lot of people. So that's pretty awesome and shout out to those guys. But anyway, let's get the 60 and let's make it happen. <laughs> Holy shit, this is overpowered. I was just giving it a quick try. I don't have a build built around it, but let me show you guys what's going down real quick. I know I was going to get the 60 without talking to you guys, but I just hit a 700 no crit on that guy. So as far as I can see, this is going to be a build where you just go back and forth between Fuego and Arctis. I'm going to Arctis first as an example, right? And then I'm going to cast a bunch of fireballs or when I get to max, I'm going to make it scorch. We're going to get stacks of gathering will. That's going to make my next Fuego slap. And then it goes vice versa as well. And then after that, I'll just frostbolt and go for an Arctis. So, um, okay, let's build up these stacks. You can see it right there. Now watch this, okay? Can I can I not die? I'm actually gonna pot just so I can not die. Hold on, hold on. I wanna fuego you. I wanna fuego you, dude. Dude, you oh, I still got it off. How hard did I hit that guy? It looks like I hit something like 1,000 no crit if you include the fire blast. Like, that's ridiculous. Again, guys, I didn't expect to record this right now, but it's pretty interesting. Let's start with a fuego first. I think it's if I go fuego and then I start going for frostbolt and I'm building stacks now of winter's mantle, they say. No, don't kill me. Oh my God, they would perma stun me so I can't even see the damage before I die. Okay, here we go, Arctis. Oh, that's actually nice. That's actually nice. Look at my damage. I mean, of course, I'm like in these 1v10s. And I'm getting destroyed, but that's actually still nice. Okay, so what if I start with an Arctis from behind? Okay, go for the fireballs. That's a 377 on the uh, normal Arctis with no stacks. Go for the fireball. Get these stacks. Okay, I have four. I think that's the max. Let's fuego him. <laughs> what? Um, and then we go for the, uh, the frost bolt, I think. Am I wrong? Uh, I'm not wrong. Like, I don't want to be potting right now, but I want to play my class. I don't want to die to these people. Dude, that's ridiculous. I like that the stacks don't go away. So it is upon reaching four stacks, you gain heart. Okay. So it looks like Fire Blast builds up stacks of gathering will. Like, I don't even have to cast. I don't have to scorch or fireball or anything. Okay, let's fuego this guy. Oh, wait, he, he's out of range. Fuego Thought Slayer. Goodbye, Thought Slayer. <laughs> That actually is amazing, guys. I'm sorry for the language, my friends, but that is amazing. You know, I only use it when it's prudent, when it actually makes sense. And this is insane. Of course, we're going to lose this BG horribly, but I did just want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, let's uh, Frostbolt, because I didn't expect it to be this good, and I was just going to do a quick BG just to get to 60. Can I Arctis this guy before he dies just for the damage? I can, but it didn't hit that hard. So yeah, definitely Fuego is better. And here I am thinking they only did this because they were learning Spanish for the first time, man. It actually comes from a book series. Okay, Fireball, Fire Blast. Another Fireball into a Fuego on this uh, McBrucen. Uh-uh. Boom! 722! Oh no, this is fun, dude. One of the things I can say so far is that so far on the three new specs I've played, this being the third one, right? Um, they've all just given me extreme happiness. And I couldn't say that about some of the specs I was playing right before Season 8 came out. And I think you guys felt it too, especially based on the views. We were all getting sick of how it was before. Of course! Look at him tryharding me! Go find your dad, Nemo! I'm sick of your shit! Alright, Arctis in before I inevitably die to the tryhard. Oh, that's nice. And look, you can't actually get rid of it. It's a uh, it's a normal buff. Like, it's not magic or anything like that. That's interesting. 
All right, fuego this guy, and then I can start arcticing or frost bolting to get to the arctis, right? I do just want to practice this now. It's a really good practice, actually. Low pressure, doesn't matter. BGs are fun. All right, go for the oat oh, heat. This guy's running away. Let's just arctis this guy right here. Oh, look at that amazing animation. And I can go and kill Nemo and get revenge. Enjoy being in the graveyard. See you in Lumbridge, bro. And I'm building up the other one now, the gathering will, right? Yes, with the fireballs and the fire blast. All right, let's get that up once again. And let's go for an awesome fuego into the frost shock. Look at that. Oh my God, that slaps, dude. It plays so nicely, actually. So I joined a losing game and we lost horribly, but we did play into some awesome new mechanics. Uh, I, I figured out some stuff about this build. It's very strong. I'm very excited now to play this in max. Okay, guys, I'm about to come at you with the strongest spec I've played so far. You know what? I love that I get to keep saying this. It will stop eventually because eventually we're going to play all the best stuff. But uh, this is actually as strong as it gets uh, for me so far. I'm already probably showing you clips right now of the absolute decimation that is this build and i've also come up with my own special version of the spec so uh let me just go ahead and tell you guys about that because as far as i could tell from the few things on the grapevine i did hear i don't think people are playing this the same way as me could be obviously wrong and who cares if i'm wrong point is i think this is really unique and i want to show it to you guys so first of all let me just point out that i have a lot of talents that are devoted to hit rating because uh, i just don't want to miss so obviously with better gear i can get rid of some of these hit rating talents it looks like i can already start to do that like right now maybe just one of these uh so yeah literally just one of these and uh, i could put those into more damage but i'm basically going frost shock this is so lucky that it came out this way by the way i did not know this was going to work i just got lucky frost shock with the flame shock i'm using the lava burst finally get to pick up the burst bro with the fire blast and the fuego arctis and the frost bolt and also one scorch will occasionally be in there as well i don't think you need scorched earth now Here's what I will say. Everything you've seen so far has been with zero enchant other than one precision for hit and Warden of Demon Reach itself. And that's because Scorched Earth, while I did buy it thinking I might use it, has been useless and I will be getting rid of it. I just don't think it's worth it. Now, when this spec plays perfectly, it is absurd. I have currently got 56 item level with garbage items like lofty gauntlets of power that literally give me no benefit right now. And I am pumping harder than every spec I've shown you guys so far. First of all, let me show you guys what i've got right now going with the single target dps spec so this is how i play i start off and since i already have four stacks we'll just start off uh a little ahead so a little bit better than normal i think but with a fuego after the fuego i'm gonna go frost shock then I'm going to go Frost Bolt until I get four stacks of Winter's Mantle. So after this one, I'm going to Arctis. I'm going to charge up that Flame Shock. Boom, I got it. Going to go for a Lava Burst. Going to go for a Fire Blast. Going to go for a single Scorch into the Fuego once again. We're then going to go back for that uh, Handy Danny Frost Shock into the Frost Bolt spam. I'm doing it. One, doing it. Two, doing it. Three, into the Arctis, into the Flame Shock after this. And we're just going to keep repeating. Do you guys see that DPS, by the way, with my item level? Are you seeing this DPS uh, with my... My item level because i'm seeing it and it's absolutely absurd and not right but you know what they're, they said they're not nerfing anything yo they, <laughs> they said they're not nerfing anything until the chapter comes out so we get to play with this um and i'm doing 3k pretty steady single target dps right now now throw this out of the woodworks for a hot second it's gonna go down as my dots tick we know how it is that was pretty consistent 3k and uh yes it's kind of complex and also by the way yes if anything cc's you you will get thrown off and that dps will go down but uh it's not that deep i think because on every encounter where you don't get cc'd and you just get to play your class you're doing absurd levels of dps now when it comes to single target that's one thing but when it gets to the aoe that's a whole nother ball game bros so let me show you guys why aoe is even better it's because you actually don't have to do any of that garbage for the aoe spec you need cone of cold and flame strike once again i got really lucky because i didn't know this is how this build was going to play and it turns out as i was building it i just got the right stuff so i'm going to go since i currently have winter's mantle up if you have winter's mantle you go frost if you have gathering will you go for fire i'm going to go for one cone of cold which immediately stacks it up and then one arctis immediately go for a flame strike and then i'm going to afk for one second and go for a fuego at this precise moment i'm going to go back up go for the cone of cold that's really nice afk for a second go for the arctis now i'm going to go for the flame strike after the arctis afk for one second really really nice go for the fuego and i will go for the cone of cold immediately after where are we about six and a half k dps 
I can go for an Arctis right here as well. We can, you know, we can keep going is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but it, yeah, look, it even went up at the end there as well. So I would say it's like 6.5k AoE right now. Some people are doing about 11k-ish right now as well with their versions of the spec, but I think my version's currently doing more single target because from what I've heard, uh, they're doing 3k but with way better stuff and all full enchants and stuff like that. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, but it's a really nutty spec. Only downside of the AoE is that if the mob that you're attacking dies, uh, you know, let's say to the Arctis single target, the Arctis AoE will not go off. So you have to target something with enough HP to eat the single target hit so that the AoE will go off and actually do the big deeps. But it's a ridiculously well-rounded and super strong spec, ever so slightly complex, potentially kind of hard to roll, uh, but you know what? Insanely fun. Let's do a dungeon. Let me show you guys how it plays with some live commentary. You've got, look, uh, okay, it's Dire Mall West. I haven't even done that yet. Some big mobs in here. I've got my evocation. I've got the life tap rolled on this guy. Three buffs as well. Disengage. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward with just damage spells. Nothing crazy. No arcane powers or anything like that. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. If you nail those kind of spells, you're going to do much better. Okay, so I've already got this going. So let's go ahead and go for the fuego. I've got the stacks. Boom. Let's <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. It's just like, what is that? All right, gonna go for the cone, and then we're gonna go for the Arctis right here. Go for the flame strike. Oh, yeah. And now, see what I said. I need them to have a certain amount of HP. So that guy, God, it can get annoying, though. Okay, this guy. Because you're, like, tabbing, looking for the high HP guy. Your DPS falls in the meantime. So if everything's low, you're not going to slap them. Because let me just show you what I mean. Boom. It kills him. I don't get any AoE. Do you see that? So that's the only downside. You will lose your AoE in those types of situations. I don't think people are flame shocking, and I don't think they're lava bursting. You might say McDoubles. Why the shock route? Well, it's because I could take this, Booming Echoes. If I keep this Booming echo stuff going, I always have 5% more ice and fire damage with both ways that I go. I really do think that's the way to go. And as I said, I've got something around 10 talent points going towards hit rating right now. With uh, proper gear, let's just say, I could probably reduce like 7 of them. And uh, that's going to be a lot more damage as well. And I really did just make this spec up. So I will post what I've got in the Discord, but just keep all of that in mind. As they did say, they're going to not nerf things and uh, start doing it in batches. So they have different chapters as far as I could tell. And what that means that your spec is probably not going to get nerfed until the second chapter. Whatever that means. Could be two, three months from now. I don't know. Which means this is going to be broken for a while. Um, and I highly recommend that you do it. Yes, it's a bit of a grind as I said. Three to six hours. And uh, probably worse after this video because there were already a lot of people there because I pointed it out and people did know about it from their own little social circles and stuff like that. But uh, I don't think I can show this and, and pretend like it's not going to get hard camped even more after this. Because look at that. Like it's broken. And I already told Kaladin this. I think he worked on this. I said, dude, this might be the most powerful spec I've ever played. The last time I felt this powerful was when I got like a 10 stack off pure shadow and it would blow up and hit like a 70 or even up to 100k in one hit. Like that's probably the last time I felt this powerful. It's the same vibe. I just want to reiterate that we have no gear. <laughs> just want to reiterate just saying you know no pressure on anybody if you got a spec with gear and you're not pulling this kind of dps i mean i just showed you two and i was very honest saying that with the two specs i showed you guys see all these guys are dying too fast so i can't do much but with all the specs oh shit that i showed you guys um oh no i should have pulled down accident but uh they are doing perfectly fine dps in fact i would say definitely fine there's nothing wrong with the dps of the specs i've showed you guys so far uh when i think zg comes out in two days you'll probably want 2k min for a normal and uh all those specs are doing 2k with like 58 item level and that's a and, and min as well like 2k min they could probably even do more for example the pirate build i think i got that up to like 2.5k on a dummy the other day with the same gear so i just you know min max it a little bit more so it could probably be pulled up even more and i already know the poison serpent build is going to be ridiculous single target as well uh, i haven't even shown you guys the culmination of that because i still had a green shirt on today i'm still waiting some dudes already don't have it i'm waiting for my chance to not have a green uh no texture drip shirt on man but with all that crap out of the way dudes let me just say like this is broken i can't wait to see what's performing on the zg raid day i might stream that day i will say that that's going to be a saturday because again zulgarub comes out and i might just do a whole guild run and we'll start off with normal and we'll progress through uh i think it's going to go 
to Mythic and then Ascended. Or maybe it's, no, it's Normal Heroic Mythic Ascended. And we'll see, you know, I, we're not going to do Ascended. But we'll get all the way through Mythic, right? And we'll see if we can make that work on day one. At least get through Heroic. We'll see how long it takes as well, because I can't stream all day. But that might be something I do. And if I don't do it, then you know I bailed. But if I do do it, it's going to be fun. Kind of like the launch day thing, right? Oh my god, everybody's dying. Why are we doing it like this? I don't know, guys. I'm just really excited right now. I think this is hyper, hyper fun. Super duper ultra fun. Damn it, guys, really. And I'm excited to gear this guy up. I'll say that much. Let me get through this real quick, and uh, let's see if we get any gear. Okay, so I did another heroic. We got into strat, the dead one, and I encountered a pretty strong build, which is uh, explosive shot, so it's back, baby, and it's still doing really, really well. And uh, then we beat the last boss. I didn't get any real loot from this, but I did do pretty good on that last boss. And now we're going to go ahead and do lower black rock spawn. Fire as soon as we get a healer and hopefully we don't die right here right all right guys so uh actually that lbs run everybody left i joined another group everybody left again like immediately just the tank healer leaves and everybody else leaves too for no real reason it's really weird actually this keeps happening but the servers are actually being shut down on the day that you're watching this video at uh, 1 p.m 11 a.m for me and uh so i didn't even fully realize that i don't have as much time this morning to get some extra clips out do some extra dungeons and bgs and stuff but i was able to queue for one more bg before the servers went down in full pve gear not the best nothing on me really yet but i did want to try the damage at max level and just see what it would be like with arctis and fuego because it's been super fun to play so far overall it was really good i'm actually kind of excited to get pvp gear on this guy so i can compete with some of these dudes but uh, a lot of the times with these bgs people that have been doing pvp from the beginning they've got like 1500 plus more hp than me which is pretty nutty and you can't even queue for skirms and stuff till you have like 250 pvp power which you really have a hard time doing without real pvp piece from what I've seen so far, uh, but we will be doing that and uh, maybe it'll be with this build or maybe a different caster uh, video uh, Who knows with what build we might play in the future, but I've got multiple specs on this guy as well So, you know, literally the sky's the limit I was actually able to get into a different LBRS run though uh, And this is actually pretty fun because these mobs have a lot more HP There's a lot less little stuff like in strat, right? And so what that means is that I have more opportunities to fuego Arctis for massive massive damage What you're gonna be seeing in the background now is absolutely nutty massive damage that I end up pulling off in that exact context and it's even better when your tank pulls like a bunch of guys plus a boss because then you could just sit on the boss the entire time and you're just fuegoing and arcticing for massive damage on the sidelines as well as also well as hitting 12k plus crits again I've heard that with gear with proper enchants uh, and not having to put like 10 plus uh, talents in for hit you can actually hit like almost 20,000 if not 20,000 fuego arctis uh, crits which is really good that's for single target and and pull crazy numbers like 11k aoe i think this is going to be a build to look at guys i really do i think this is going to be one of those builds that is a mainstay yes it has its weakness when a lot of the mobs have low hp and you can't really shine uh but again it has a ridiculous strength very much akin to the previously alluded to pure shadow build that i talked about before except it feels like the pure shadow boom effect right is just a little bit easier to control with fuego and arctis i'm also assuming it's a good homage to the dresden files thing again i don't read it it's not for any personal reading it's just i haven't read books like that for a hot second since college and um you know what a lot of people are really into it so that was based on it as i said this build rather and so i hope that that's a big deal for them at the very bare minimum for us though it's crazy big damage it seems like it's going to be actually pretty good in pvp and pve i think the shock route is actually interesting and needs to be looked at and i also think that with the cone of cold flame strike combo it's aoe is going to be pretty much unparalleled as well there's gonna be very few things that are going to get to that level so simply and easily right with so few downsides in many ways as well Okay, so I just learned something very damning about the version of the spec I was playing, and I learned it in my last BG. Suddenly, things didn't feel the same. Also, I did get logged out because of that patch I told you guys about, right? So, um, obviously, when I first read this, I saw that it required, uh, it says increases the damage and critical strike chance of your next fuego. Direct fire damage spells with a cast time grant stacks of gathering will. But, in practice, that's not how it worked. Uh, so I guess I just ignored it because look at this. I'm not getting stacks anymore. And you guys just saw me doing a rotation where that was how this was working. And I'm no longer getting stacks from instant casts. It is now only coming from cast times. So, 
I had to completely remake the build and play it differently in that particular BG because now it makes sense why people were doing the route that I thought they were going to be doing, which was no shocks, let's just go Scorch, let's just go Frostbolt spam, and then, you know, there is no Lava Burst, I guess, with this version of the spec, right? So if I really boil this down, I can dumb it down dramatically now, the version I showed you guys, you'll never see it again, it does not exist. So yeah, I went back through those clips just to make sure I wasn't crazy, and as I was DPSing on the dummy with what I think is actually a, such a really amazing rotation, uh, with the shocks and getting the booming echoes ups and all that the shocks were both giving me stacks I specifically did see fire blast give me a stack as well And uh, so that was the thing I had this awesome rotation man Ah where it was like flame shock lava burst fire blast boom with the scorch boom You're dead, you know and the other one was just frost shock get the booming echoes frostball 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 boom You're dead and now I can't do it anymore. I've got to go to a simpler rotation I guess but at least I know I'm not crazy. So I would literally do anything in the world if they gave us an option to check off certain BGs from the list so that we never had to random into it. All right, can I just fuego this one guy and we can see the damage while it permalax? <laughs> oh, that's, that's not even my biggest crit. But that slaps, actually, for PvP. Because Ascension has, like, arbitrary PvP modifiers on literally everything. And it just reduces the damage of all your spells by, like, 80%. It's insane. Let's see if we can help our friend over here, by the way. She mind blasted me. I'm just gonna go for this 1v1. Okay. I can move. I need to learn to move if I can move. Alright, here's a fuego. Super uber lag. Gotta love it. No, I'm stunned and her allies are coming. I was so winning this. Can I, uh, greater heal? Do you have a way to interrupt? No interrupt? Nice. So far, so good. Scorch, just because I can move while doing it, and I'm super uber lagging. Nice, good stun on that guy. Just go for the Frostbolt. Okay, I mean, it's not horrible. That guy's playing in Worgen form, though, so he has way more swag than me. And I'm over here trying to pump with 28 FPS. Like, look at this shit, guys! Oh, look, there's a rogue in the back! Oh, this is not your lucky day. Not your lucky day. Get Arctis. Oh, it doesn't crit, of course. Uh, okay, Scorching. Fuego, do you crit? Okay, you die. Okay, that's not good. We need to uh, fuego somebody right now. Okay, let's fuego this guy. Let's just see how hard it hits him. 845 no crit and 257. So that's a 1k no crit. I'm not gonna lie guys i've been trying to look for fights where people have similar gear to me uh, and i just keep queuing in the people with almost 8,000 hp i'm like dude what even is this what's the point of that it's a skirm right so i'm not getting rating for it so here we are in a bg let's see if we can get some big hits but once again for the quadrillionth time ascension do better why is it always this one but it's terran mill versus south shore <laughs> Yeah, no, I hate this BG. But okay, guys, I'm gonna have to farm some PvP gear up, and I think my next video might be me doing that, or I might do more PV. Actually, we might do that stream, like I said, tomorrow as well. I'm not exactly sure yet. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video. I think Warden of Demon Reach has been shown in all its splendor, and uh, you know what? If you had good gear and you went into PvP with it, and you had all the stuns and CC you need to, you know, succeed, you would actually slap. As for PvE, well, that was already proven to be quite good. Okay, so we have the last video's link. Let's see who wins. Okay. Avalyn, love your vids, man. You're what got me into playing Ascension, but this is the first time I've played draft mode. Gotta say, I'm loving it. Oh, good. Makes me sad. All the hours I put into Area 52. Uh, in-game name is Dareth. Well, you know what, man? I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I look at all the enchants I don't have, and it makes me sad, too. But as we all know, there's something about Fresh that's actually pretty fun. Plus, with the new chapters and stuff, hopefully they spice it up even more, and uh, they just made getting epics easier, so that's gonna be even better for you guys that are going for some harder-to-roll builds that require a lot of epics, so that's pretty nice. But okay, guys, I said this was going to be Polly's giveaway, and I will say I took Polly's book and gave it to a random noob, but you're still getting a dealer's draft deck, you're getting the free flight paths, a portable transmog, two stones of retreat worth a lot as well, and a book of artisans if you're the one that wins, and that is Darath, of course. So congrats, Darath. You're going to get all of this stuff right now. Let's go ahead and take it all off. So there you go, Darath. Congratulations. Hope the care package helps you. Boom. Now leave your in-game name in the comment section below for the next giveaway. Today we're going to be doing, let's see, I, somebody else already sent me something to give away to you guys. Lenovo. 
Nova's giveaway. So today, it's mostly a mountain giveaway. The Risen Mare, you also get this illusion for Elemental Slayer, a weapon enchantment illusion. Uh, and we also give you the Holy Light illusion. But it's mostly a mountain giveaway today. <laughs> Just a skelly horse, but hey, it's rare. And it's something that is probably going to be at least like 500 gold on the auction house if I had to throw a guest out there. And I love that you guys are sending me stuff so I don't even have to give away the stuff that I bought myself and got myself yet. Uh, which is nice. We're going to have a lot of giveaways for like months at this point. Uh, the next one after Lenovo will be Persona's giveaway. And I'm going to probably have to split this one up in two. Because he just gave us a lot of stuff to give to you guys. And this is from Slammerbit, by the way. Which he is a member on the channel. So it's Slammerbit's giveaway. So thank you. Lenovo today and Slammerbit tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about. So okay, guys. But okay, guys. If you enjoyed the Warden of Demon Reach build and the grind that it took to make it happen. All the big DPS and the freaking fact that we got to play a version of the spec that is no longer in the game because it's gone now. They removed the ability uh, during one of the patches and uh, that sucks. But if, hey, if you enjoyed it and you like to be able to see it, make sure to give the video a like and to subscribe for more content. But I'll see you guys in the next video. McDoubles out.